Welcome to the Police Parking Violations Training Program. Today, we will learn about different types of parking violations in VR. However, before we dive into that, we will first review the correct parking position. The correct parking position is parking within the white lines marking the designated spot along the side of the street. It is important to ensure that there are no signs prohibiting parking in that particular spot, as shown here. Moving on to the first type of parking violation. No parking sign. Parking next to a no parking sign is strictly prohibited. These signs serve as indicators of areas where parking is forbidden, and disregarding them will result in a violation. The next type of parking violation is red line parking. Unlike white lines, red lines indicate areas where both parking and loading or unloading passengers are prohibited. Engaging in either activity in these areas will result in a violation. The next type is expired parking meter. Parking meters allow drivers to park in a designated spot for a set amount of time after paying a small fee. However, if the car remains parked after the allotted time expires, it is considered a violation. As we can see, the meter on the right has not yet expired, while the one on the left has. Therefore, the car parked at the meter on the left has committed a violation. The fourth type of parking violation is parking near a fire hydrant which is considered a serious offense as it can obstruct firefighters from accessing the hydra quickly in the event of an emergency. This type of violation can result in the vehicle being towed away by the department. Next violation is parking on or near crosswalks. Crosswalks are designated spaces for pedestrians to safely cross the street, and parking in or near them can pose a danger to pedestrians and other drivers. Therefore, it is a direct violation. Moving on to the next type of parking violation. Unauthorized disabled parking. Disabled parking spots are designated for drivers with permits who require accessible parking. As shown, the car on the right has a disabled permit hanging from the rearview mirror and a disabled decal on the side of the car, which indicates that the driver is authorized to park in a disabled parking spot. Therefore, there is no violation. However, the car on the left has neither a permit nor any markings that indicate that the driver is disabled and is thus committing a violation. Next violation is parking in the opposite direction of the road. This behavior is considered dangerous as it can cause accidents and create confusion for other drivers. As you can see, the direction of the road is clearly marked by the sign. In particular, the car on the right is parked in the wrong direction and is committing a direct offense. Lastly, there are various common incorrect parking practices that result in an offense such as parking too close or too far from the curb, parking at the wrong angle, or parking in unauthorized spaces. All of these fall under the category of poor parking practices. Now that we have covered the different types of parking violations and offenses, it's time to put our knowledge to the test with a practical exam. In this area, we will inspect each car individually to identify any parking offenses if there's any. We will carefully assess each vehicle to determine the type of offense, starting with this one. Do you see anything wrong here with this vehicle? As you can see, the vehicle in question is parked correctly beside a white line and there are no visible signs prohibiting parking. This means that the vehicle has not committed any parking violation. Therefore, I'll choose the correct parking option. Let us continue. Although there are no signs explicitly forbidding parking in this spot, 
this vehicle is parked directly next to a fire hydrant, which is a violation in itself. Therefore, I'll choose the parking beside fire hydrants option. While this vehicle may appear to be parked correctly from a distance, upon closer inspection, it becomes evident that it has been parked too close to the curb. This poor parking position is a violation. To illustrate my point, I'll select the correct parking option, which will give me a wrong answer. As it falls under the category of wrong parking practices, selecting that option would be the correct answer. As for this vehicle, it's parked directly beside a no parking sign, which is a clear violation. Therefore, I'll select the no parking sign option. As demonstrated, this practical test area offers a wide range of parking scenarios for you to study and inspect providing you with ample examples to reinforce your knowledge. Congratulations, you have successfully learned about the various types of parking violations and how to identify them.